Ladies and gentlemen of the world, we have hit the battle button. That means something vaguely resembling entertainment is about to start in a matter of seconds. I was hitting my button repeatedly. We are I know where the button is, baby, believe me. Fantastic. Fantastic may be over egging the pudding. Listen, we're gonna be we're gonna be great. So we're we're here because uh, a major update for World of Warplanes was released 2.0. Um, introduced bombers, introduced uh, respawns, game mode called Conquest. Um, I'm I'm big on the respawns because I die a lot. Um, but uh, what's your take so far on it? My take so far is that um, Warplanes 2.0 is the game that we should have launched initially. Why we didn't uh, remains a mystery to us, but um, after four years of uh, painstaking research, coding and designing and tweaking and hacking, we finally got the game that you, uh, the people deserve. Perfect. Someone stole my paper. <laughs> Can we hire that person? Yeah. All the witty comments. Please Al send King in CVs. Sounds like Russell Crowe after a few beers. Excellent. I could probably take Russell Crowe in a fight. Let's roll. Wearing an eye patch on crutches. All right. Let's go. Let's go right here. All right. So if there's one thing that I like that we got rid of is the uh, aim indicators. That push to talk would be glorious. You have chosen the Asian border map here. I have chosen so it's nothing. Like, it's really humid. It's full of clouds. And I'm just That's happy. fine. I'm happy it's cold in this room that we're in right now. It's full but one of the great things about the new game is we've got AI bots in the sky, so you've got like cannon fodder you can shoot at when you're on your way to like the different zones. Yeah, so each time you go to a new base, there's going to be some AI protecting it. Absolutely, and you know, um, one of the things before was that you would spawn into the sky and there was just this vast blue expanse and you, you went, well, where is everybody? Now with these bots, it gives you a sense of genuine spectacle that there is actually a battle going on. Oh, and speaking of VS, can we talk about how the AI is absolutely amazing in this game? The, uh, like, the AA destroys me all the time. That's because you're not very good. Hey. That's not very nice. Right, now... This is a team-based game, but we've already parted. I'm heading off to the factory, That's and right. you're doing something else. I will join you there in a second. So we're almost certainly going to get our rear ends handed to No, no, we're, to we're going to the same end. spot. It's great. Are we? Good. So, um, we're on our way to a factory here. That's an important part of the new gameplay, because... by getting control of these uh, land zones, it brings significant tactical advantages to you. Trying to decide a target is always fun when you have multiple ones to shoot at. It is. <laughs> okay, children, please type in your questions. You may have lots of questions. Huh? Enemy bombers have been launched. Oh, I am gonna go right to the ground. Save me! Again. I survived. I survived. You did. I'm surprised too, because I was definitely detected. not looking good. Engage them immediately. Enemy bombers have been detected. Did you hear that, Meathead? Do we want to go after those or keep going after... Uh, well, um, I'm already on the tail of one of them, and um, I'm in danger of actually having my first kill in the... How is that a danger? What was your question, sir, mister? How is it a danger that you're going to get your first kill? That children is embarrassing. Did you die? I drove into a tree. <laughs> but you know that 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 gives me the chance to talk about respawn. Yes. Yeah. One of the things we got um, we didn't get right last time was um, well you just died very quickly and very often and then you had to come out of the game. You have to like you know click, click choose your. No. This time around we have respawn, so don't worry about dying. You can immediately, well, immediately. There's about a 10 second delay while the plane rebuilds. Now, what about the squall line? That squall line. 
Ah, uh, the squall line can mess things up. That's a bit of a threat, yeah. If the, once the squall line arrives, then, um, you know, it's no longer possible to respawn. But up until that point, you can. So it, it is a little bit more daring do, yeah? You're a little bit more aggressive in your playstyle, which inevitably leads to more fun. Right, I've got a, um, a Messerschmitt thingy on my rear end. I wouldn't mind a bit of help from you, please, well, Mr. I'm Meathead. I'm nowhere near you. Oh, that's because I died and respawned. Oh, sure, let me just stop doing what I'm doing to help you. <laughs> okay, let's team up and actually play together. Waiting on you, God I intended. haven't died yet, so I'm waiting on you. Yeah, rub it in, thanks for that, I've died twice. Ooh. Oh, boy! That was close. Too close for comfort. Oh, Preparing. oh boy. Oh. Respawning in six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now what we have total respawn. Now you can change out the planes between respawns, correct? Um, uh, that's actually really interesting. I think you probably can, yeah. Do you know that for a fact? Yeah. It sounds about right, but I'm not entirely sure. So I could have changed my Spitfire to a Mosquito during the respawn process. I believe so. We're getting confirmation from. Uh, can we have that? Com can we have that confirmed by a QI elf, please? Only if you capture the right point. So you have to capture the right zone in order to get that advantage. That's right. Okay. Bingo. And I knew that. Of, you did know I, that. Yeah, just tested. It sounds vaguely familiar, but you know, I wasn't. Gonna... How you doing over there? Good. I'm forgetting to press my talk button. That's okay. I'm just trying to take over the space over here, no big deal. But are we playing against, like, you know, live American players? Indeed we are. Wow, they're really quite good, aren't they? Uh, oh, say it's oh, oh, oh! <laughs> that was close, my sphincter was tight on that one. We're allowed to say sphincter then, are we? I thought that was specifically out outlawed on my list of swears. I don't know, are we allowed to say that? If we did, I, we did if we did. <laughs> Beep. Can one of the QI elves confirm if Sphincter is, um... One Sphincter per person, brilliant. Which I think is standard issue. No, Matthew, it was just, uh, I was, the reason I was attacking ground targets because I was the only, uh, plane in the area at that point. Hang in there! You'll soon be cut off from support! Alright, so the squall line's got 40 seconds until we can never get any more resources. Crikey, so let's go in for the kill. Uh, so the reason I do like these capture points is that it uh, provides areas of engagement. So there's there's definitely things to shoot and kill at all times. Absolutely. The other thing that we should point out is that um, when we did the review of the reviews for the first game, one of the things that um, came up consistently was that there was a lack of differentiation across the different plane types. So we've spent a lot of time addressing that so that now there's a tangible difference between a fighter, a heavy fighter, a multi-roller ground attack, and a bomber. Yeah, I mean, and that, that's that great. translates into fun. Oh, absolutely. Because I know there's definitely times where I like to do fighting, like just aerial combat, and then there's times that I enjoy just dropping bombs. Absolutely. Bombers. Whole new class. Tremendously good fun. Now, I, I don't have a bomber yet because I am sorely under... Uh, under gear in World of Warplanes, but I did get to play it on the common test, and they were super fun. The epic. Oh yeah. All right, I am here trying to help you, so please don't leave. Yeah, well that push to talk button is really awesome. I'm a fighter, right? I'm a Spitfire, so I'm going to escort these bombers in. Oh, that's not good. Not for us. We got we got bombers coming in. Oh, those are ours. That's fantastic. We gotta get Major Cannon Potato. Nice work, nice work. You can always click your right. I'm proud of you, pilots. Head Look at that victory. victory. Were you expecting to see... What's that? Oh, absolutely.
I can't hear you for whatever reason. Can you hear me now? Oh, I can hear you now. I was pressing the wrong button. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. I just looked at the score, hit tab, and seeing how we did. Yeah, we can switch between our views, but playing a piloting game, it's kind of hard to go from scene one to scene two. <laughs> Yeah, we're learning. I love it. We're learning a lot. Um, can I change to my mosquito? Yeah, you can pick whatever you want. Would that be acceptable? Absolutely. So one of the, the so the secret project thing here is to uh, build the bombers that we have in there right now. Uh, I am. Yeah, sure. Explain how that works. So essentially, you play, you do some missions, and you get these little token things up here. In which case, you order you order the loot. You get the loot. You get some free things. Collect the prize. I have got a bomber part in this one which is fantastic. Uh, and what that'll do is they'll go into the assemble part over here, and you try to assemble one of the bombers. And uh, after that, you, can, you just get it. So, I mean, do missions, collect tokens, get get free premium. You know? Free premium uh, bomber. That's snappy. Do missions, get tokens, get premium. I like that. Yeah. Can we put that on a t-shirt, please, Dawn? I want that on a t-shirt. Thank you. We've had confirmation that we're having a t-shirt. All good slogans will be recognized and celebrated through the medium of cotton. I do need, I need a new t-shirt, absolutely. That push to talk button is gonna be the death of you. <laughs> when cracking a brilliant gag, always press your talk button. My mum used to say that. Are you ready for another round? I'm still customizing my plane. Oh, yeah, I'm so what do you got going on on the plane? I'm reinforcing my airframe. I'm way ahead of you. You hadn't even thought about it. I did a little, from, I did a little You probably bit. don't know what an airframe is. I do not. And I no. will not ever no. try to lie about that. Yeah. We're going to have a serious talk after this game. That's fine. fine. Over a few beers, a couple pints. Several pints. I should be on the American IPAs later. Right, I'm going to the paint shop now. So there are certain types of um, camouflage that will give you a, um, a slight concealment advantage inside the maps. And so make sure you do it for um, summer, winter, desert, and marine, because you never quite know. Um, give yourself a nice ostentation, a nose paint job, a nice emblem. I always go for Ace of Spades. I, Motorhead like, fan, we, and I love Yeah, that. we've talked about this before. You are, like, all about the uh, Ace of Spades and anything rock-related. I am. Absolutely. In fact, normally when I'm playing, I use a playlist that's been curated for me by um, our friends at Metal Hammer magazine. It's full of Iron Maiden and Sabaton and Airborne and Motorhead and Saxon. Yeah? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Which is all a young man needs. Everybody's like, I want a T-shirt. I want a T-shirt, too, damn it. <laughs> okay then, my mosquito is prepped and ready to go. All right, perfect. I've got a huge "not ready" sign at the bottom where it should say "battle." Listen, I didn't. I thought you were still taking your sweet time. Yeah, you pressed it for me. Thank you. All right, that first one was a horse's duvery, also known as a starter or a warm-up or a rehearsal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This I, one is I the was real thing. Number two, and you were placed number two from the bottom. <laughs> Thanks for confirming that in front of a live audience. You're welcome. You can beat me up afterwards. <laughs> okay. okay. Folks want your playlist. You Folk, okay, brilliant. Make sure I share that with them afterwards. So, before you go into game, important. You get a map overview and summary, and critically, you are given three sort of like default um, tactics that you should be using for that particular vehicle type. I've got a heavy fighter, yeah? So the focus for me is going to be um, attacking enemy sectors by des destroying both aerial and ground targets. I can also gang up on the enemy bombers as well. This overcomes one of the key concerns from the old game, which was a lack of sense of purpose and not really being clear on what you should do. Pilot, We've nailed get that. Ready for action. Not that these, these objective things, I absolutely love them now. Well, you just know what you're doing, right, yep. from the start. Okay, let's sort of head in a... Let's head you know, toward... Let's head... I am going to follow you. If I can only hear you talking. 
I cannot fly while pressing the talk button. I'm an incompetent middle-aged man. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop talking and do some shooting, okay? That sounds perfect. But I'm going to start asking you some more questions, so I better hope you have that push to talk button ready. Uh, so, with the new, uh, like, what is your favorite part about the, the major update right now? My favorite part is that it's actually fun. Um, instead of just spawning to this big blue expanse and thinking, where is everybody, what do I do? You spawn into what is obviously a battle. The skies are full of planes. You can see explosions and shrapnel everywhere. And if you're in a fighter, you immediately know that you should be either escorting bombers or dogfighting at high altitude. If you're in a heavy fighter, which I'm in now, the Mosquito, probably the finest heavy fighter in the game. Yes, I'm British, I would say that. But, you know, then you're going to be um, taking out bombers or you're going to be um, attacking ground targets. So it's having a clear sense of purpose. There's nothing worse than flying around in the sky and not doing anything, yeah? Whereas now you know exactly what to be getting on with. Yeah. I agree 100%. You could have agreed 99% and I would still have been happy. Uh, what about 75? Mmm. -hmm. Under par. Okay, okay, fair enough. Alright, I'm heading for the giant spanner. Oh, so you're going over there now? You gotta give yeah. me a heads up next time you decide to move targets. I should really, shouldn't I? So I'm gonna... I press talk button. I'm gonna come in quite low, yeah? Oh, they got a bunch of people coming to our section that we were just at. Could use some assistance over here. Sorry, dude, I'm busy. That's awesome. Now, are we going to get the chance to show these lovely people um, what a bomber looks like? Absolutely. Because I'm very keen to show them tail gunner mode. Well, I just got messed up. This dude's Again. voice is killer, not Meathead. Thanks, Shelby. Greatly appreciate that. <laughs> Shelby is a man or woman. It's uh, uh, hard to tell from just the name. But uh, of taste, clearly. Yes. They recognize a woody bass baritone when they hear one. Such a woody bass baritone, if I've ever heard one. <laughs> you know, I did turn down my own show on the BBC once. Oh, yeah? Um, well, um, I, I was meant to be a dentist in the Royal Air Force, and I failed all my A-level results, and then in my off, I realized that I should be doing something else, and so I went on a chat show on BBC Radio Lincoln, and afterwards they kept me on air and said, We really like your voice, Alistair. We'd like to offer you a place at the BBC, and you can have this show. For... And foolishly, I said no. The enemy is well, we're glad to have you. I've just died again, people. Great voice, lousy flying skills is all I can say. Oh, I don't know. Have that made into a t-shirt as well, please. Yeah, I'm getting... Sweet, I'm on fire. <laughs> Great album title. <laughs> And I'm stalling. This is awesome. Yeah, go into consumables and get a, a fire extinguisher, an automatic one. Then you don't have to worry about being on fire. That's my little tip for you. Michael, I do like the debris coming off the planes. That's also one of my favorite things. Debris is great. It really, you know, it, it makes a, a, a kill all the more satisfying, doesn't it? I agreed. And also, when you hit, you get that nice little tut 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 that you're making contact, which I think makes up. I'm sorry, how does it go? Just one more time for clarity. The second one was best. Okay, thank you. So I hope someone's got that on record somewhere. Alright, I'm going to go over to the airfield over here. I think I'm going to go to the officer's mess for a pint, frankly. Once again, I'm seeing a replay of my Spitfire going down in flames. It's very embarrassing. I'm not representing the nation of Great Britain particularly well. You're doing the best on our team, by the way. I'm doing my best. Oh, am I on our team? I'm actually the best. Oh, yeah. 
Crikey. Today is opposite day. Uh, I'm not quite sure what to say to that. <laughs> Come in, Test Pilot 7, your time is up. Okay, going back in. Still in the Mosquito. Oh, look! We've obviously got... We've taken advantage of a um, an artillery base zone because suddenly these massive uh, missiles are being f fired up into the sky over the mountains and they're raining down on the enemy bases or the enemy, oh, enemy ground zones. And they make an awesome explosion when they hit. They do. And if you happen to be flying near one when it goes overhead, it's really quite a dramatic moment. Be advised, new, 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 new. will soon be unable to provide support. Do you copy? Over. Yes, I read you. Over. Annoying man. I don't know about you, but I just did some really amazing maneuvers right there. Yeah, I didn't, surprisingly. Can you be more specific about the nature of these maneuvers? I was doing loop-de-loops and... Twiddly oh, were, were you? And you you have a witness for this, do you? Uh, the whole stream. <laughs> yes, I regret asking that question now. And funny enough, I've just been blown up again. Okay, I want to do some bombing. Can we do some bombing? Oh uh, yeah, we can do some bombing. So did somebody say they wanted the playlist, the Spotify playlist? Yes. Yeah, they did, okay. So if you're on Spotify, just search for Owl King, and you'll see a sort of, you know, a long-haired bloke with sideburns, chops. Then follow me, and then immediately check my playlist, and you'll find one for Warplanes Metal and Warplanes Rock. And if you play other wargaming games, like Warships and Tanks, you'll also find playlists for Tanks and for warships, and you'll also find one for Total War Arena as well, called Battle Metal. So you just have so everything. Pretty much. I mean, I like to listen to appropriate music, you know, adrenaline pumping, up-tempo, power metal kind of stuff when I'm in-game. And so I've made playlists that are vehicle-specific, you know, because I'm sort of sad and lonely, frankly. Oh. No, I think it helps with the immersion, you know. Makes the, the overall experience far more satisfying. I got destroyed, man. Did you now? Um, we, I can quit out of this game if you want to go bombing, or I can die again quickly in the next few seconds. Oh, That's no, keep good. going. Keep, keep going. going, absolutely. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Well, I'm going to try and um, stop the enemy from claiming this missile. How's everybody in chat doing? In Chad, the African... Chat, with a T. Oh, Chad, you and your Americans, please enunciate properly. I apologize. Thank you. Alright, now I'm watching you play, so let's see how good you are. Quite dreadful, frankly. I'm the final hope, I'm hearing that in my left ear. Well, that's not gonna look... I can see... About the oh yeah, we just and saw it's all you over. Down. There you go. Turn Shot down in flames. Too strong. It's a trap by ACDC, and it does feature on my Warplanes Rock playlist. <laughs> you really love your playlist. I do, honestly, I do. It's um, a massive enhancement to the in-game experience. Nothing wrong with our music, but the classical score sort of grates a bit, you know. You weren't last place. Did you hear that, people? I was not last place. Can we have that on a t-shirt as well, please? Actually, that would be oh, a Oh, I'm getting a no. I'm getting a no from the gallery. That would be a fantastic... T-shirt denied. That would be a fantastic t-shirt. I wasn't last place. <laughs> We're over budget as of this point. Yeah, but that is the best of all the slogans we've come up with. I wasn't last. I do like that. All right, so the way to bomb, since I don't have one, I'm going to have to cheat a little bit and purchase my tickets with the gold I have, which I am not happy about doing. But I'm going to do it. Let's see, how many... I'm going to buy the uh, A26B. And I need... How many more? I need 165 more tokens. Wow, I, got, I can get it. I have it. I've got the gold for it. 
what what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, make all the tr um, make all the nation, and then I'm going to go into the um, filter gold. for aircraft type and choose. All right, here we're going to get all the parts for this, and uh, here we go, folks. I've got the A26B. Yeah. Do you want to go to mine real quick? Beg your pardon? No, not sorry. I wasn't talking to you. I accidentally pushed a tug. Accidental push. same plane. Well, good! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, okay, uh, I need to do a little something something to this plane before I go into it. Yeah, toss it up a bit. Put some lips... Paint jobs are indeed fine. Ooh. Oh, this is the concealment 10% one? That looks pretty sexy. That My bomber is ready, sir. My bomber's not. Okay, well. Alright, go to the hangar. I'm gonna give my pilot some crew skills. Let's see what we got here. So, so I'm from um, um, Lincolnshire in Great Britain, and the, the county is Nick, the county's nickname is Bomber County. That's because all of the um, Bomber Command was. Um, controlled out of uh, Woodall Spa in Lincolnshire, which is where my late father used to play golf. So, um, yeah, I grew up on Air Force bases in the 70s, surrounded by, you know, bombers, and used to, like, play on Wellingtons and Lancasters, and indeed Vulcans. So, um, so there. Well, that's awesome. Thank you. I mean, I don't know why I'd be upset with that story. That's pretty cool. You wouldn't. You should be inspired. Yeah, that's, a pretty, that's pretty cool. So I feel as though it's some kind of manifest destiny that I ended up working on a game that featured bombers. All right, I am ready. Now I'm waiting on you. Okay, I'm pressing battle. Now. Here we go. So I, I have very limited experience in bombers. So this, thing. yeah, yeah. Let, let, let me take over, young man. Yes. <laughs> I mean, just given my bomber county speech, this better be spectacularly good. You, you really need to know about two keys. One is shift. Yeah, so head towards the zone you want to bomb. As you get close... Hit shift, and then you go into a top-down mode. It's a bit like artillery mode in World of Tanks. And then, you know, just wait till the sight um, is over the target, which will be highlighted in red on the ground. Then you can press space or left-click or B, and then your bombs drop. Yeah? And then the important thing is to, like, up high at about 45 degrees to avoid the AA guns, and then turn around and look back, and you'll just see... How does that go again? I'm not falling into that trap. <laughs> yeah, and you can see the results of your handiwork behind you as you lay waste to the opposition. Yeah, it's really quite satisfying. In fact, I'd say it's the favorite, my favorite part of the game thus far. Oh, okay. So uh, this is a major update for us right now. Absolutely. Uh, but this is not going to be the last update, obviously. No, we've been fixing on what we call the middle game. So that's why, for example, we're playing a lot of tier six stuff at the moment because that's where it's been addressed. So. The, the next challenge between now and Christmas to, is to affix the early tiers, the onboarding, so we'll be bringing in a tutorial and helping people like really get to know the maps, the planes, and the different zones, and how how to make it all work. And then when we've done that, uh, next year we'll be able to focus on like the sort of higher-end tiers and the end game sort of polish. So it's by no means finished, but it's already fun to play, oh, so that's the first major hurdle. Oh, this is so beautiful. Isn't it? I can't Pacific wait. Rim. I cannot wait to bomb. Pacific Rim. Nice. Oh, so that's the bombing mode. Oh, wow. Okay. So can you see it immediately in front of us as an island and then um, a big factory base beyond it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to bomb. Oh, perfect. 
Yeah, that push attack button. Yeah, that push attack button. So if you want, you can just press shift now just to see how the view changes and you'll get a nice top-down view. In fact, you can look down there and see some turtles swimming. Oh, look, there's a squid. Oh, look, there's Nemo! We found Nemo. Ladies and gentlemen, Nemo has been found. Can we bomb him? Can we bomb Nemo? You actually asked that question in yep. front of a live studio oh, absolutely. audience. Absolutely. I'm going to have you cement. Uh, so quick question, there's the white circle on the ground and then I have like a cursor. Um, what's the point of the cursor versus the white circle? I have no idea, I'm just bombing. Okay, fair enough. I'm gonna take the so left I, side. I have dropped my bombs and I'm feeling oh, really oh, quiet. Oh, man. oh Are yeah. you bombing? Oh yeah. Yeah? Good lad. Okay, so what will happen typically is after a bombing run, the enemy will get wise to the oh, fact they're yeah. being bombed, oh, yeah. and they will send in a fighter, yeah? who will be chasing you from behind, destroy you. So we've invented a fantastic feature called tail gunner mode, yeah? Oh, yeah so instead good. of just letting the AI fire at the, um, at the fighter that's on your bottom, you can um, press T, go into tail gunner mode, and actively target the, um, the pursuing um, enemy aircraft, and, um, and fire. And when you're firing in tail gunner mode, you're doing double damage, so you can kill them a lot more quickly and more effectively. Oh, that's cool. Where are we going? Where are we going? Um, I'm going to say Hawaii. Oh, can we? Yes. Um, no, we're, st we're still trying to... Uh, we've already uh, managed to claim that factory. It's turned blue. So look, um, head three o'clock. I think we're going to the right... I think there's a guy in your tail. I'm going into tail gunner mode. I've pressed T, and now I'm actively shooting in tail gunner mode at the pursuing plane. Marvelous. See that health bar coming down? And the great thing is, your weapon doesn't go too hot when you're in tail gunner mode, so I'm literally going to be hammering that button until he explodes. Oh, this is cool. You see, he's got the message now. He's actually left me alone. Great feature, tail gunner mode. So I'm looking now for um, other zones that need a good bombing, and I've found one. So at about hmm, 9, 10 o'clock on the map, there's a red icon there yep. with, a, with a plane in the middle. That is an enemy aircraft base or an enemy airfield. Head for that and drop your bombs upon it, young man. I can do this for you. You are well ahead of me, but that's okay. Uh, both in the game and in life generally, I would say. I would agree with this. Oh, I need tail gunner mode again. Okay. Not gonna lie, my, my plane looks amazing. 60 seconds of boost, that's awesome. So I just shot an enemy fighter in t And I feel great. Now, while you're in tail gunner mode, does the plane fly level so you don't have to worry about dying? Correct. Alas, despite my best attempts in tail gunner mode, I had two fighters on my rear end and I'm now going down. That's okay, you did valiantly. Thank you very much. But of course, you don't have to worry about that because of respawn. Preparing in seven, six, five, four, Respawn. Okay, we're going back in, children. Um, let's do another bombing run on that. Um, oh no, he's on base. my tail. He's on my Is tail. He? Release the bombs. Oh no. So the, uh, the good thing about bomber is that um, you've you've got like a minute's worth of boost, so you can hit that W button. And you know, get that rush of speed, and so you can whiz towards the zone you want to bomb in record time. So I'm doing exactly that. I have about. I, have, I should be coming back in soon. I'm just going to hum the Dam Busters March theme if that's all right. Oh, go for it. I could carry on if you want. Continue, please. I was no, I'm getting, lo I'm, I'm getting lots of nods. I was, I was in a rhythm. <laughs> so I'm approaching the enemy base. 
and inevitably there's a squad of fighters that have been deployed to take me out. But anyway, we're going into bomb mode. Bear with me. I'm bearing. I'm waiting. Alright, I also am going into a bomb mode. Bombs have been deployed. Would you say bombs away? Um, I would say bombs away. Or chocks away, you could also say. I have no idea what that means. Chocks away is a bit like bombs away. Oh, you weren't kidding about that AA. They are lighting me up. Why won't they leave me alone? They just don't like you, meathead. Sounds like my real life. Unlike me, who's become quite fond of you uh, in these last few minutes. Oh, you have yes. brothers in arms, I guess you would say. Yes, I would say that. Excellent. Well, we've got 35 minutes till school time. Um, my question would be, what time do the bars open around here? I think they're open now. Are they? Yeah. I hear you do some good IPAs these days. Do we? Yes? I'm a spirit guy. Really? Mm -hmm. Victory is I like the cut of your jib. A nice McCallan to do the trick. I feel like there's someone on my tail somewhere. There is. At all times. Excellent. How's it going, everyone? How are we feeling? We yeah? Is it alright? Yeah? Yeah? I'm feeling great. We, 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 we've, we, we've dog fought, we've bombed, we've um, taken control of different ground zones, we've done tap. No more respawn. No more respawns. I'll tell you what, after the sort of tropical exotica of this Pacific map, I'd like to go into the Alps. Oh. Can we do Edelweiss? Uh, I can't pick it, but we can, we can hope for it. Oh, we can't pick it? Hellfire and Damnation. Can you sort that out, please, Dawn? I want Edelweiss, otherwise I'm just going to walk off set. Famous people, I tell you. Yeah, I'm throwing a hissy. Do you have those in America? Hissy fits? Yeah, we have those, trust Good. Me. You probably invented them, didn't you? Most likely. That's why we left yeah. in the first place. Very high maintenance, really, aren't you? I'm going in for another bombing. Did <laughs> you just bring up the war? I did not. <laughs> we still love each other. Alright, I'm going to go in for another bombing run. That AA does not want me anywhere near them right now. Indeed not. I normally like to listen to Bomber by Motorhead when I'm doing my bombing runs, for nice. obvious reasons. And then um, also Tail Gunner by Iron Maiden, again, hopefully for obvious reasons. Where is this guy that's trying to kill me? Hiding behind a cloud? I, I don't know. So. Yeah. Cunning. He's actually right behind you. <laughs> Thanks. We won. Our, yes, our group took control of the area of operation. That was pretty impressive. I think I've got a number of medals as well. How did you do? Oh yeah, look at you, you are a bomber yeah. by trade. Thank you. It's in my blood. <laughs> <laughs> baby. Um, do you want us to cover anything else here today? Uh, David, as far as bomb drops, I feel like it was like three or four sets of four. I think it might have been three sets of four that I was able to drop at a single time. And then it re they respawn as time goes on. Correct. You can actually see the number of bombs that your plane carries. And you can you can do them in, like, you know, all one load. Or you can batch it if you prefer. But, yes, they will automatically uh, rearmor the bombs. Because you've got, obviously, little guys inside the plane that we can't see running around. Yep. Lifting up bombs and putting them into the, 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 the bomb door area. So, yeah. I've actually earned a crate because of that with the, my, my daily mission, so I'm going to open that up. Well done. You're an impressive human being, it has to be said. Oh yeah, look at that. Equipment? Sounds good. And bonuses? I'm loving this.
Uh, I think we're almost out of time. Is there anything that you want to add to the to this? Well, we've talked about the big four, as it were. We've talked about respawn. We've talked about the um, increased differentiation between um, aircraft class. We've talked about the air superiority concept, the battle for control of the ground zones and the different benefits you get. And we've talked about bombers, and we've even done some bombing and shown tail gunner mode. So um, I'm feeling pretty good about the whole thing, if you are. I, I am as well. This was fun. We should definitely it was fun. Again. I think we should just, you know, look at the camera and sincerely issue a personal invite to everybody that's watching, and indeed their friends, that today is the day the Warplanes becomes 2.0, and we would like to personally invite you to get airborne again. Absolutely. Come with us. Let's do this. Come fly with me. Come fly. And Take me to the danger zone. I'm that too. Perfect. Yeah. I think I think that's it, folks. IPAs all round. Hold on one second. Oh, that's right. We will be having a lot of other streams too with World of War. Will we? Absolutely. You might not be here, but you will be here in spirit. <laughs> I'll leave my sunglasses on this chair forever. Forever. And I will donate my jacket what size is that? to anybody that can suggest um, tracks for the Spotify playlist that are currently missing. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I think I've got them all. I'm not surprised. Yeah. And no, it doesn't actually smell of body odor either, so it's really worth quite having. Yes, it does. All right, folks. <laughs> All right, folks. We're signing yes, off. Thank you very much, does. and uh, see, we'll see you next time we tune up. Meet. Great hanging Boom. with you. Take care, everybody. <laughs>